welcome back. I'm going to say straight off congratulations to everyone who completed the Cape Town Marathon, but especially those at the top of the field and an incredible international field at that. Stephen Mokoka successfully defended his Cape Town Marathon title, an incredible performance. The South African crossing the finish line <laughs> in a mind-boggling time of 2 hours, 9 minutes and 58 seconds. In the women's event, it was the Ethiopia's Mesret Dinke Meleka, who won in a time of 2 hours, 42 minutes and 0 two seconds. Now, the marathon is not only about those elites, but the 13,000 runners participating in it. It really is a marathon for the people. And Seb Prentice, who is very close to our little family here, ran the race for the first time, clocking at an hour, three hours and 23 minutes and 43 seconds. That's insane. A beast of a time for a beast of a man. <laughs> uh, Seb, thank you so much for, for coming in this morning because a lot of people have taken today off, mm. understandably. I've got to ask for someone who comes from your background, because I'm seeing a bit of a transition now with this holistic focus on health. Yes. What was your motivation? Why take this on out of the long list of physical challenges that you seem to throw yourself mm. in? What was it about this that got you so motivated and excited? So to be honest, it started about a year or so ago, maybe a year and a half ago, when I thought of a bunch of things that I found difficult and didn't really enjoy, and one of those things was running. <laughs> so I thought, you know, let me throw myself into it. Let me just do it for 100 days, even if it's just, a, you know, 100 meters. Just go for a run around the block yeah. and see what happens. And in about 75 days, I completely fell in love with it. And one thing led to the next, and now I'm kind of just pushing myself to try and achieve more and run more events, and it's, I love it now. So, yeah. I think there's something about running that is it's sequential and it's modular. So even if you do run 100 and then tomorrow you run 200, mm. it's still an improvement. Yes. It's still a mental game, a success. Though doing it to this degree, once you hit 30 kilometers, it gets real very quickly. Once mm. you start pushing 40, it becomes all about the mind. What was the experience like when you actually had to do it now? Were there moments where, where it got a little bit shaky? Talk yes. us through the, the head game. Yes, because it's one thing committing to something beforehand, but when you actually get into the trenches, it's a completely different <laughs> story. <laughs> Um, and I think at about 32 k's in, I, I, I genuinely thought to myself, I didn't give this distance the respect it deserved. <laughs> and, Never uh, again. <laughs> yeah, I was like, geez, this, this is quite something. And I mean, I've done long distance runs before, but there's something, I don't know what it is about our minds, but we forget yeah. the, how difficult it's it actually post -traumatic is. post-traumatic stress syndrome, where I think <laughs> we block these things out. Yeah, we completely forget. So, no, but it got tough for about the last 10 to 7 k's. Um, but that's, as you said, when you just, it's not really your body anymore. It's just your mind kind of focusing on one foot after the next. That being said, you came into this with a bag of tricks. You've got a, a un unbelievable understanding of your body. You know how your body works in terms of diet, in terms of preparation. How did you go about crafting this race? Because you've really got it for months mm. beforehand, figure out how best to get a rather big body through that sure. race. How did you approach the fitness and the, and the diet? So f the prep was about uh, four months long. And for the first two months of that, I focused on dropping a little bit of weight because to be honest, over, if you extrapolate, you know, 42,000 steps, each step um, at 95 kilos is, you know, it's, it's a lot of weight. So if you can take just like two or three kilos off, that adds up over all of those yeah, repetitions. So the first, yeah. Yeah, so the first two months, I kind of restricted the eating a little bit, but just, you know, for uh, performance reasons. And then I focused on really nourishing my body, eating whole foods, keeping out kind of processed foods. Um, so, you know, I was doing a lot of vegetables, um, making sure I was getting in enough protein, enough carbohydrates, potatoes and rice. And then the, day, the three or four days leading up into it, I did the carbo loading, made sure I was getting in enough sodium and electrolytes um, so that my body was, you know, properly hydrated. And um, the day of the race, it was just a couple of goos um, and the odd salty potato here and there. Because <laughs> sodium's a big, a big factor. Yeah, in I get races. that. Now, I think a guy came out with like a bowl of baby potatoes mm. when, when I did the, the two oceans, and it saved me. It absolutely saved me, so I get that. And, and I think a nod to, to the running community, because there is something about running with that kind of group of people that are so motivated. No one gets left behind. Yes. And I love that. So anyone who's wanting to go on a similar journey to you, what advice would you give them, having gone through this, and now that you've, you've achieved this goal that's been months in, sure. in the, the building start small yeah. um, you know break it I actually ran past someone during the event and they said and I heard them say 
you know, how do you eat an elephant one bite at a time, you know that saying? <laughs> and that's exactly how you should approach health and fitness. For a lot of Love people, that. for a lot of people, it's very overwhelming, it's very daunting, it's like, where do I start? This is, you know, I've got so much work to do. Just take one step, you know? One step is better than no step. So, you know, just get the ball rolling and reward yourself for every step that you take because each little step is a win. Yeah. And those compound over time. So if you're looking to, you know, get into fitness, get into health, you know, improve your life, because when you're healthier, you're a higher version of yourself. You're a Completely, better human yeah. being. So, you know, just start small um, and, and be patient because it does take time. It does, man. But with that comes so much validation and reward mm. and mental wellness. If anything, just yes. get out there to move, to keep your mind in a good state. Buddy, we're really proud of you. Well done. Thanks so We much. look forward to you watching you put on the three or four kilograms that you lost. <laughs> um, but um, it, it, this, I think, is a message to all of us. I love that. How do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. If you're thinking about doing this fitness journey, a transition yourself, do it. Take the first step today.